On today's Tasty Menu, we're going to be talking about the Boss CP1X compressor pedal. This thing's pretty cool. Now I'm going to be using this with my acoustic guitar. So uh, what I'm going to be doing here is I don't know anybody who just has one compressor pedal and that's it. Like that's the only thing they have on their board. So I'm going to be using it as you would. I'm going to incorporate it into the rest of my stuff here. So I'm going to be going from the compressor into my EQ. I think I'm going to skip the delay and just use some reverb. So EQ, reverb, and then I'm going to send that signal into my Apollo, which I'm kind of using as my amp right now, uh, which I found these speakers at Best Buy. There's a sub underneath the desk and these things sound incredible. The, the phone might not you pick up how crazy good these things sound, but uh, believe me, in person they sound great and it's enough for me to not buy a real amp. So uh, anyway, enough of me yakking, let's get to see what it sounds like. All right, so now when you first turn this bad puppy on, or plug it in, I should say, you get a pretty cool light show that I did not want to rob you of. Not give me a chance to grab my guitar. <laughs> Now, uh, what I'm gonna do is set all the knobbies to zero right now. And here's the, uh, ooh, let's turn it off first, Durr. Here's the sound of my acoustic guitar with just the EQ and some plate reverb. <laughs> that there. Now, going over the knobs on the compressor pedal. The first one is the level. So now my acoustic guitar wants to have a party. Now we're inviting everybody over. Now, here's the door here. This is where the acoustic guitar gets plugged in. This is how much of that signal gets invited into the party. <clears throat> so now as people flowing in here, I want to keep it, I don't want to really use it as a boost pedal. I just want to keep, you know, things under control. So I want to keep my volume relative to what it would be without it. So without it right here. So yeah, that's pretty good. Now, let's shut it back off here for a second. The attack is once the signal is in here, how quickly is this bouncer going to jump on that note if things start to get out of control? Now, again, I'm playing acoustic guitar, so I, I don't want a super compressed sound. I want a very natural acoustic guitar sound. So I would set my attack for, I'd set that patience level at much more. Let's let that note linger in the room a little bit. So now as the note's lingering in here, the ratio button is how quickly, once the bouncer gets on it, he's gonna assess the situation, how quickly does he let go of the note? Right here, that's in the ratio. Now I want slow to attack, quick to release, because again, I want to keep things very natural. So just when, you know, I want to smooth it out. So if things get a little spiky, I'm just going to jump on there, grab it, and then quickly release it. Now the compressor knob, that's like your effect level. How much of this stuff do you want on there? So let's start at right about noon. Now, again, here's the signal without it. Let's plug her in. show down there again I want a very natural very light compression so that's what's happening there it's really only coming in when things get a little crazy it just grabs the note let's go so now let's uh let's add a little bit more of the effect so right now we're at noon so let's go to about three o'clock so without it
I get no more redemptions. I tried it twice and I screwed it up twice. So no more. That's kind of a pretty sound.
So there you have it, man. I really did not anticipate going 13 minutes long into this, but it just kind of happened. So there you have it. There's the new boss. I hope that helps you if you're wondering, how's that going to sound with my acoustic guitar? Sounds pretty cool, man. I hope you dig it. And as always, if you do, please subscribe.